Newton uh, cookie. Oh, it stings. Good morning, everybody. So, I'm just finishing uploading the dishwasher this morning. We are getting ready to do our homeschool day. And we are on full on quarantine. So, um, I did ask my mom if I could talk to you guys about this. My mom did end up um, getting COVID 19. And. Um, as well as a couple other of my family members. Nobody in our immediate household at this point is having any symptoms, um, but we did have contact with my mom. So we are just keeping ourselves on quarantine. So we'll be in quarantine until the 28th, I believe. Yeah, the 28th. So yeah, it's not been a fun process, and I did ask her if it would be okay to talk to you guys about it. Um, my mom has been very, very sick. Um, there were a few nights I had to stay up super late just talking with her and trying to talk her through everything going on. Um, so that is what has been going on. I'm sorry, I have a hair. Ugh. So that is what's been going on in our home front. Um, we haven't had Graylin over there also in quarantine too because we had her here. So they're locked down in their house. Um, so everybody is just, just kind of keeping an eye on things and seeing what's going on. I mean, I don't really know what to say about it. It is what it is. Um, this, this coronavirus is just, it's not fun. Um, and seeing it firsthand, seeing what's going on. One of my family members is actually in the hospital from it right now. So. Um, and was doing better, but then last night took a turn for the worse. So we'll see. We'll see what's going on. We're just, we're keeping lots of prayers out and um, we will keep you updated, let you know everything going on. But, and I'm not like releasing any more about anybody else within my family that has it, but my mom did give me the okay too. So um, if the other ones want to share later, I guess they can, but I don't know. Anyway, so that's what it is um it is what it is i mean there's just there's not much you can do with this you guys um keep washing your hands stay at home when you can you know i know i've had a lot of people say well you got to get out there and you've got to you've got to live your life but i've seen it firsthand um of what's going on and it's it's not fun I, my mother has been miserable she's had a couple of nights where i was very scared for her so if you can stay home, stay home. Um, that's, I guess that's my piece of advice. Stay home, wash your hands, do the things that they're telling you to do, because it's not a joke. It really is, if you catch it, it's just, it's not, yeah, it's not something you want. And it's not something you want to give to somebody else either. So, you know, um, that is what it is, I guess. I don't know what else to say. I don't know what to say about it. Um, you know, this is a period in time that none of us have experienced before. None of us are familiar with, you know, and there's nothing much we can do about it except try to do our best in handling the situation. That being said, in other news, I know some of you may have been wanting some more of our fireworks stand footage, and I can't give that to you. I, in the process of all of this, have lost where that footage was at. So I had a device that I would do a lot of my editing on and it has come up missing. So um, that being said, um, we're just gonna continue on with the video footage that we do have and continue releasing videos out for you. If I come across it, cause I think it's somewhere in this house. I've looked everywhere, I just cannot find it. And I'm guessing I probably put it somewhere that I wouldn't forget where it was. Right? So at least that's what I'm hoping. Unless I threw it away or donated it. That's another option. I may have donated it to Goodwill. So I've called them several times and as of yet they haven't found it. That's the only thing I can think of of where it went was I dropped off some donations a couple of weeks back and I'm thinking maybe it was there. So that's why you guys did not get any more of our fireworks tent footage. But we did have a good season you guys and the weather held out for the most part for us. Um, we had like 
one really big rainstorm, but it wasn't anything like we had had last year. I got completely soaked from head to toe trying to put the sides of the tent down. So it was more of a fun experience than anything else. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to doing these dishes. We're gonna kick in our homeschool day. And I believe you should have already seen the homeschool video that I released, so. All right, you guys, so Aspen and I are getting ready to start our school day. What? The bird pooped on our window. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's right. So we're getting ready to start our school day and I was cleaning up the table and I looked over and I'm like, oh, what got on the window? I'm gonna have to clean that off really quick because it just looks terrible. No, look at this. Oh, Can you see that? That is on the outside of the window. A bird pooped through the window on onto the outside of the window, so now I'm either gonna have to try to reach my arm up there to clean it off, or take the screen off, and then clean it off. That is so gross. Wait, what was he hanging on the screen, or did he just like dive bomb poop us? <laughs> you ready for school? All right, so Aspen and I are starting Guess what? And I know I told you guys that Look. I- Look! What? Look what I got! Oh yeah, he wants to show you. Who'd you get? Hold on, I gotta put him back. They both got one. What'd you get? Ow! Nice, Mr. Krabs, and you got, who'd you get? Crush on you. Oh, okay. Anyway, I know I told you guys that I didn't do um, a schedule for Aspen, but I actually ended up printing, I actually ended up printing him one up. All right! Just to make it easier right, for me. All right, guys! I got Gary! You didn't? Who is it? Patrick! I don't know who it is. It's Plankton. Plankton, <laughs> I ended up putting him in level one math because he's a little more advanced on his math. Um, but then we're also this using this math readiness workbook. So this is the first one we're going to use with him and it's just making sure he's getting those numbers down. And then we have his um, Good and the Beautiful course book that he's using along with his Good and the Beautiful handwriting. So. Ah! Um, and I did start him in the very beginning level uh, because we are still working on letter sounds and stuff, um, getting those down pat. So one of the Aspen strengths is his math. And then this is one of our areas that we're working on is, um, is like letter sounds, vowels. This does numbers, colors, motor skills, sorting, matching, rhyming. So rhyming is a big strength of his. This isn't one he really needs. It's more on the vowels and the letter and sounds. Um, but sorting, matching, rhyming, colors, those are all strengths of his. So we're just getting down the things that he still needs. And he's actually very close to me needing to order the next course book because we've been breezing through this one. So that's a good thing. 24, 25, 20, 26, 28, 27. 28, 29, Good job. 30, 31. Okay, so he recognizes those very well. There's 32 pages. There is. Are you ready to do your work? Yes. Okay. Let's start with. I want to start with this. Language arts. You want to start with math? Yeah. Okay, we'll start with math. I'm sorry, Mom. And I said, I wanted to. I wanted to. I wanted to. And I got two just to go. And I said, I don't want a three. I don't want a three. I want a three. I don't want a three. No, I want a four. I, no, I want a five. I know I need five. What are you so excited if, about? If I get a five, I just go to the hundred. That's where oh I want us. What are you so excited about? I want shoots and ladders on the computer, but snakes and ladders. So oh. T is all excited. She wanted to show you guys something. It's the dollar grandma got me. It's Marilyn Monroe. Isn't she beautiful? She has Marilyn Monroe and Frank Sinatra. Yeah. What cool. letter is that? That makes the B. bump sound good. C. Good job. A. 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 Right. F. F. Good. Mm. No. What letter is this? Mm. No. That's N. Mm. 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 Is N. Mm. What letter is this? Mm. E. E. A. 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 E. Not A. A. 
Eh. Eh, eh. I got the bird first try, Keith. Nice job, I'm gonna get the F right now. What does Fox say? No, it's ding 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 ding. <laughs> Thanks. F. Good job. Now the upper. Wait, case. why is there colors that's the same color as that? Well, that's pretty cool, huh? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I have to go up this time. I'm gonna find it. F. Do I have to find an F? Mm-hmm. F! Good job. Now the next picture. Wow, this is cool. Point to Queen Cook. Point to the dog. Point to the dog. What letter does D D dog start with? The D. Good. It's cool. <laughs> oh, they didn't see your new bed, did they? You guys, Ireland got a new bed. Isn't it pretty? Finally came in, huh? We waited forever. All right, you ready? Yeah. Meet you downstairs. How long? It's at 17 minutes and it's 23 minutes. Hurry up. Doc, doc. Boys. <laughs> Here, you have reading to do. Reading time. Okay. Your signed pages are written on top. Hello, Make your bed, sir. Mama, after school time, Do not move, play or I will shoot. Again. Yeah. Okay. I'm not dropping you off. <laughs> what are you two I'm doing? <laughs> I'm just driving her for a little bit. I have you guys had a date for after you were done with school, huh? Yeah. <laughs> she kept telling him, Okay, Aspen, as soon as you finish school, we're going to play a game together. What the? There's a cart. There's a secret thing. There's He's driving me around in a car right now. <laughs> okay, so Ireland wanted a couple of extra minutes. She was in the middle of watching a video when I came to get her for school. So I am going to start a load of laundry while she's finishing up that video and then we'll get her school day going, her one-on-one. -on -one. I'm giving up. I am stuck in a human. I can't help what I'm feeling. I don't know if I'm breathing when you are with me. So every now and then in the kids' lessons, I have to dictate sentences to them for the older kids, for Ireland and Zane. And so that's what we're doing right now. Ireland made a ton of progress, though, you guys. She before tested on words, and at the beginning of this, so we're like 25 lessons in, so at the beginning she got 51 out of 64 words on um, a certain chart that they were working on that she was working on, this time she got 63 out of 64 of those words. And she actually got the 64th word, but they have to do it within a certain amount of time. What was the rest of the sentence? We like the gate at your home. So the dictating of sentences isn't just about spelling things properly, it's also about making sure they put in the correct punctuation and capitalization. Um, so it's helping teach them their grammar and punctuation as well. Wanna hear my beatboxing? Yeah. You're really into beatboxing lately, aren't you? It's your new favorite thing to... Okay, learn. so this is the kids' ritual, you guys. They do their one-on-ones while we do group. And so they get all their schoolwork done during that time, but once they're done, they like to play toys while they listen to readings and stuff. Right now, we're getting ready to do math. We're doing Life of Fred Apples. You ready? Apples! So do you guys like the Life of Fred? Yeah. Yes. Sometimes it gets confusing. But it eventually works out, doesn't it? Like X and Y? What the heck is that? Algebra. <laughs> over to the north side of campus to look at the apple tree. No one needed to water that tree today since it was still February and there were still no apples on the tree. See? See? I am loves watering them. <laughs> Fred loves swimming. First, he swam around in a big circle. See? He swam around in a big circle. Then he swam around in a big ellipse. Then in a square. As the clouds blew away, the sun became brighter and brighter. The temperature was going up. Zero degrees, five degrees, 10 degrees, 15 degrees, 20 degrees, 25 degrees, 30 degrees, 35 degrees, 40 degrees, 45 degrees. 
This is called counting by fives. If you have to count to 100, it's a lot faster to count by fives than to count by ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and so on. You don't do well, so we'll try seven up. That was out of nowhere. <laughs> what? I opened my notebook just before you said that. What, your turn to play? Yeah. All right, your turn to play. One, counting by fives. Write down the eight. <laughs> Write down the numbers. Euclid. Not Euclid or Archimedes, listen. Oh no, that was only on the page. Number one, counting by fives. Write down the numbers from 35 to 100. The list starts 35, 40, 45. There are zero whales in Kansas. How many ocean liners are in Kansas? I know. Okay, write it on your paper. Are you ready for this? Yeah, this is the last one. Which is true? A, Archimedes was a famous baseball player. B, Archimedes was a whale. Or C, Archimedes was a mathematician. Okay guys, shh, listen. So, we're talking about ancient Egypt and we're gonna try some foods that they would have had in ancient Egypt. We've got some melon, apricots, raisins, and then figs. So everybody's gonna try just a little bit. If you don't like it, that's okay, but it's just to try it, okay? Oh, Watermelon is my looks favorite. Weird. You don't know about the figs? Are you trying it, Sky? Let's see the figs. Maybe. Okay, everybody go ahead and try your foods. I'll go for the watermelon first. Mmm. Mmm. That's good watermelon. I'm gonna take another. T, your thoughts on the fig? It tastes like a fig newton without the like cookie part. Bane, if you like it, I'm gonna eat it, but otherwise. Nah, you gotta try it. You gotta try it. I don't know. I feel like it's gonna have a really nasty texture. Try it. What's up? It makes me think there's like some like creaminess inside. That's an apricot, Aston. Try to. It looks like yeah. there's a creaminess no. inside of it. I'm not. What'd you eat? I tried the fig. You are not a fan of the fig? Hey, Braxton, look at the fig. It the looks like there's like some sort of like donut cream in it. Try it. All right, come on. Everybody who hasn't tried the fig, try it. Try it. I'm, I'm scared. I don't it's actually pretty good if you mix it with the apricot. That sounds like a nasty. I ate all my food. Can I have another watermelon? Apricot doesn't even Yes, yeah, you can have another watermelon. Go ahead. A very good texture. Can I have a watermelon? Mmm. Can you use? The apricot tastes good. Heck? You like the apricot? Mm. It's just a weird slice. Apricot is good. The apricot is really good. Did you try the apricot? It's really good. I did. Did you try the fig yet, Braxton? No, I'm too scared. Come on, try the fig. I'm too scared. Try the fig Newton. Try the figs. Try the fig. Mm, this fig is good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Try the fig. Come on. I know I'm not gonna like the raisins. It's all about trying something new. You don't. You already know you don't like raisins. So if you already know you don't like them, you don't have to eat them. But you've never tried the fig, so you have to the try. The fig it. tastes like a fig new Ugh. cookie. Oh, it stinks. It does stink. Yeah. <laughs> don't smell it. Bite it. Yeah, it does stink. It is good. <laughs> try it with the apricot, like T said once. It doesn't even taste that it. bad. It's the texture. Oh, can I have this last oh, apricot? Zane is not a fig person, huh? Can I have this last apricot? Oh. Is the texture weird? <laughs> I'd rather <laughs> eat a raisin. Eat it! It's a big raisin. Can I have this last apricot? Yeah, some you more? can. What, you want some more watermelon? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, okay guys. What part? I know you can barely see what's going on, Hi. but we are playing a game called Statues? Yes. Yeah. Hi. Zane? Aspen and I are playing oh, statues. No. <laughs> Not the eyes. I just walked in the flashlight. And so I don't exactly know what I'm doing. Okay, so. I have to be frozen. If the flashlight's on, you have to try and touch it. If the flashlight's no. on you, you can't move. Okay. Oh. oh you, you're out. So it's what? When it's off of you, you can move. But when it's not, Is you it? can't move. I mean, when it's on you, you can't move. So first, but when it's ah, not on you, you can you. move and you have to try and touch him. If you move while the flashlight's on you, you're out. Ha 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 ha
seconds. Okay. You give us. I'm the night. All right, we're the night guard guys. You give us ten seconds. Turn around, and then you flip the flashlight on, and we are hidden somewhere. Then we come out. Oh, okay. I got you. Okay. So at the beginning. Oh wait, I must drop my flashlight. Okay. So we're gonna look outside. Sam, I see him. I don't see Aspen though. So what are you going to do? Lean to the flashlight off of me. And then what are you supposed to do? Try and touch you. <laughs> That's kind of creepy. Yeah, it's called statues. I'm a statue. <laughs> I don't know if I like this. I'm a statue. That's the whole point of the game. Oh yeah, you have to keep checking your surroundings. Or <laughs> will get you. <laughs> Got you both. No. Kind of a creepy game. Can you get back? That's the point. That's why it's played in the dark with a flashlight. <laughs> I'll just sit to the side. <laughs> yeah, mom knows you can't keep it on them forever. <laughs> pretty out. Flashlight was on me, even though I'm out. <laughs> 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 he has to guess when it's off of him when it's behind him. Got you! <laughs> <laughs> Almost! Yeah. 